Hello friends, welcome to the channel solution. Today we are going to demonstrate you about the parts of the Soxlet apparatus and its function and the extraction procedure by using Soxlet apparatus. Now in the first part we will tell you about the different parts of Soxlet apparatus and the function of each part. This is the heating mantle and this is the round bottom flask. Heating mantle is used to heat the solvent present in the flask. This is the main part of the Soxlet apparatus called Soxlet extraction chamber where the actual extraction takes place. Inside this chamber the powder drug material is placed. To the joint at the lower end of this chamber we have to attach the round bottom flask. The solvent present in the round bottom flask at the time of the extraction when heated boils and get converted into the vapor and this vapor through the opening rises up the chamber through the vapor tube. And this is called as vapor tube and from this vapor tube the vapor further rises up towards the condenser and this is the point where we have to attach the condenser and inside this chamber we have to pack the powder drug material to be extracted and this is the siphon tube which carry the solvent containing the extracted chemical of the drug from the chamber back to the round bottom flask. This part of the Soxlet apparatus is called condenser. Condenser consists of two parts, inner tube and the outer tube. Inner tube is for the vapor of the solvent and the outer tube is for the counter flow of the water. And this is the joint of the condenser where we have to attach the Soxlet extraction chamber. This is the point for the inlet of cold water inside the column and this is the point for the outlet of the hot water outside the column. And this is the tube from where we have to add the solvent. Now attach the condenser with the Soxlet extraction chamber through the joints. After attaching the condenser to the Soxlet extraction chamber, now attach two separate pipe at the inlet and the outlet of the water. And through the inlet pipe, the cold water goes inside the condenser and hot water comes out from the condenser through this outlet pipe. And now this is the tube from which we have to add the solvent by using the funnel. And these are the complete part of the Soxlet apparatus which we have assembled in the systematic way. Next step is the preparation of thimble. Here we have prepared thimble by using filter paper. To prepare thimble, cut the filter paper into proper size according to the chamber size and roll it and staple the open end to make it just like a pouch. This is the thimble which we have already prepared by using filter paper. The material to be extracted is placed inside this thimble so that at the time of extraction only the solvent containing the plant constituents come out of the thimble and the powder drug material remain inside the thimble. If we not use thimble then the particle of the drug material may choke the narrow siphon tube and will disturb the extraction process. Now we have to introduce the powder drug material to be extracted. With the specified amount of the powder drug material to be extracted as is specified in the procedure and then transfer this powder material inside the thimble with the help of spatula. Powder which we are using is coarsely powdered. Note that the powder should not be very fine otherwise it will form hard cake at the time of extraction and that the solvent will not be able to percolate inside the extraction chamber and the extraction process will be disturbed. There are many types of the thimble available in the market which is made up of cellulose. You can also prepare thimble by muslin cloth. Now load the thimble containing the powder drug material inside the extracting chamber of Soxlet apparatus. After placing the thimble inside the Soxlet chamber, now cover the top of the thimble by folding the extra length of the filter paper inside the chamber with the help of glass rod so that the plant material get completely covered and packed. Now the second part of the video is about the process of extraction through Soxlet apparatus. First place the round bottom flask over the heating mantle and then put about 2-3 to three glass blades inside the round bottom flask to prevent the solvent from bumping. After adding this glass please inside the round bottom flask, now grease the lower joints of the Soxlet extraction chamber with the help of petroleum jelly. You can also use other types of lubricant. 
After greasing the chamber, then fit this chamber on the round button flask and then with the help of clamp hold this chamber over the round button flask and rotate the screw so that it will tightly fit properly over the upper joint of the chamber to hold the chamber. Now again lubricate the lower joint of the chamber with the small amount of the petroleum jelly and we are doing greasing because greasing seals the socket apparatus and also prevent the joint to stuck with each other at the time of extraction. After greasing the condenser, then place the condenser on the socket extraction unit. After attaching the condenser over the socket extraction chamber, now attach the rubber pipe at the lower side of the condenser as the inlet for cold water and connect other side of the same tube to the water supply. Now attach another tube to the second end at the top of condenser which is the outlet for the hot water. After attaching both the pipe at the two end of the condenser, from this inlet point the cold water flows and runs to the top of condenser and through this outlet point hot water comes out. Now the socket assembly is completely set for the extraction and the assembly is held by clamp and through the stand. Now measure the specific solvent in a measuring cylinder and then transfer into the beaker. We have to select the solvent according to the nature of phytoconstituent we want to extract. Now transfer this solvent with the help of funnel into the socket chamber through the tube provided on the top of the condenser. The solvent flows down through the inner tube of the condenser into the chamber containing drug material. Add sufficient quantity of the solvent so that it will fill the chamber and after filling the solvent flows down into the round bottom flask through the siphon tube. Now turn on the water supply and through the inlet the water gradually rises up to the top of condenser and when the condenser get completely filled up with the water then the water comes out from the condenser through the outlet pipe. This is the water coming out from the outlet pipe placed inside the basin. Now switch on the heating mantle and then set the temperature to the boiling point of the solvent. Gradually the temperature of the solvent increases inside the round bottom flask and when the temperature reaches the boiling point of the solvent then the solvent start to boil and the solvent vapor passes through the vapor tube and rises up towards the condenser and the vapor comes out from this outlet point of the vapor tube and further rises up towards the condenser. At this point of the condenser, the vapor get cools and condenses to liquid and falls back drop by drop inside the timber containing drug material to be extracted. And then this solvent pass and penetrate the drug material and dissolve and extract out the chemical present in it. Gradually the chamber is filled up with the solvent and simultaneously the siphon tube is also filled up with the solvent containing the extracted chemical of the plant material. When the liquid extract reaches the point of return, then the complete solvent of the extraction chamber returns back into the round button flask through the siphon tube. Similarly, we have set one more assembly you can see at the left side and we have taken turmeric powder inside the thimble and used ethanol as a solvent. You can set two or more assembly at the same time by connecting one end of the outlet pipe of one assembly as the inlet for the other assembly. Here you can clearly see the coloring matter present in the drug get dissolved in the solvent and extracted out from the drug. When the chamber get completely filled up with the sufficient quantity of the solvent, then this liquid extract return back to the round bottom flask through the siphon tube and the chamber is completely emptied. This cycle of solvent evaporation and then condensation of the solvent back into the chamber and then extraction of the chemical constituent present in the drug by the condensed solvent and the siphoning back of the extracted liquid again into the round bottom flask. This cycle continue many times till the extraction get completed and the final extract get collected into the round bottom flask. This extraction method is also known as hot continuous extraction method. Advantage of this method is that the small quantity of solvent is required because the solvent is recycled in this extraction process. This method is not suitable for extraction of thermolabile photoconstituents due to the continuous heating process. After 
running the specified number of the cycle or completing the specified time required for the extraction or when the solvent inside the siphon tube become colorless then stop the extraction process and then detach the round bottom flask from the socket assembly after extraction process completed you can see a liquid extract in the round bottom flask obtained after the extraction of the crude drug next we have to concentrate this liquid extract by evaporating the solvent and if we directly evaporate the solvent on heating mantle on the water bath or hot plate in open vessel then there will be loss of solvent in the air and if we want to prevent this solvent loss or you can say if we want to collect the solvent means recover the solvent vaporizing during the concentration of the extract then it is possible by using the same socket assembly we can recover the solvent very easily for this take a socket assembly and set the socket assembly as before but this time we have to keep the socket extractor empty you can see here socket extractor is empty here and below we have to attach the round bottom flask containing liquid extract means containing solvent which we want to recover so that we will get concentrated extract and other setup will be the same as before we have set up for the extraction on boiling the solvent evaporates and passes through the side tube to the condenser condenser consists of two tubes inner tube and the outer tube in the outer tube water circulates through the inlet cold water comes into the outer tube and from the outlet hot water comes out the condenser in the inner tube of the condenser the solvent vapor passes inside it and when the solvent vapor passes inside the inner tube of the condenser then the condenser condenses this solvent vapor into liquid form and then drop by drop falls down into the socket extractor here you can see drop by drop the solvent start to collect inside the socket extractor and this is the recovered solvent and eventually extract in the round bottom flask concentrated you can see here slowly the level of the solvent inside the extractor increases and simultaneously the level of the solvent inside the siphon tube also increases and when the level of the recovered solvent inside the siphon tube reaches below the tip of the siphon tube then we have to stop the process because if the recovered solvent level inside the siphon tube reaches to the tip of the siphon tube then all the recovered solvent present in the socket extractor reverts back into the round bottom flask so to avoid this we have to carefully observe the level of the solvent inside the siphon tube so here you can see that the level of the solvent reaches just below the tip of the siphon tube then turn off the heating mantle allow the socket extractor to cool down and then transfer the recovered solvent in the container here we are immediately transferring the recovered solvent into the beaker that's why we have used cotton cloth to transfer the solvent from the hot extractor into the beaker so here you can see this is the recovered solvent in the beaker recovered solvent means the solvent which we have used for the extraction of the crude drug at the starting and after extraction the solvent which we have recovered means get back by using the same socket assembly and our liquid extract become concentrated because we have recovered the solvent from it and if liquid extract is still in the diluted form means still it contain large amount of the solvent after first recovery then again set the round bottom flask containing extract in the socket assembly recover the solvent again with the same process till we get the concentrated extract again what happen solvent from the liquid extract evaporate condenses into liquid form in the condenser and then collect back into the socket extractor and then we collect this recovered solvent from the extractor so this is how we can recover the solvent from the liquid extract obtained after the socket extraction of the crude drug thank you very much for watching this video